guys, Hanet Stack here. We're here today at Brazil 21 Chicago, and I'm going to help you guys to build your own Jiu-Jitsu dummy. Okay, so for this time we're living right now, we cannot work with our teammates just yet, but if you have a Jiu-Jitsu dummy, it will give you like the same feeling for some positions and will help you like, you know, to not feel like you're doing the position by yourself. To build your own Jiu-Jitsu dummy, you're going to need a couple of stuff. Uh, I'm using here one piece that I had from a long time ago, but if you don't have a one piece, you can use some tights and a rash guard that will work perfect. We also have some pillows, some bed sheets, some brush guards, one or two if you have, your gi and your belt. Okay, so let's do this together. Let's... Okay guys, now that you know what you need to build your own Jiu-Jitsu dummy, we're ready to start. So we're going to start from the legs, okay? So we're going to get the bed sheets, all the bed sheets you have. So I would say three or four, or if you have like a you know, king size bed, like two might be enough uh, for the legs, okay? So what you're going to do, you're going to put them together. If you notice here, I have like a two already, and I'm going to add one more just to be like a bigger. So if you put more, it's going to like a, uh, make it your jiu-jitsu dummy a little heavier, okay? Which is good to make it more kind of like a closer to the real deal. So you're going to put them together, you're going to roll them together like this to make sure you have a solid... You can also work, uh, if you don't have like that many jiu-jitsu or uh, bed, bed sheets, you can also like uh, use a towel. And for the legs, if you don't have a one piece, now is the time for you to use the pants, okay? So, you're going to do like this, you're going to like a, a roll them together, and then you put one leg, okay? So, you're going to bring all the way, so let's do the front, uh-huh, all the way, to feel all the, the whole leg, keep doing the row to get everything more a little bit better and then you're going to put the second leg all the way there mm -hmm. you're going to feel the pants and see like you can fit as much as you can in So now we kind of like I have the legs already. I'm just going to adjust here to make it more right, make it better. Just here. That's awesome. Great legs. <laughs> Great legs. Perfect. So now we do have our bottom. Uh huh. It looks like a snake though. Mm-hmm. Some bite. Perfect. Okay. Now that we have the legs, we're going to work on the next part of our dummy, which are the arms. Just making a little better, more centered the legs. Okay. So the legs are done right here. Now we're going to go to the second part of our dummy which is the top. For the top, you're going to use the pillows. Okay, I would say if you have small pillows like this, you can use three of those or even two and maybe two towels for the arms or even one. I'm going to use one and I'm going to use this small pillow here kind of like it should be the chest of my dummy. So I'm going to put it like this. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do the same thing as I did for the legs, kind of like a roll this, and then it'd be easier for me to fit this. So I like to, to use like a two rash guards because then I kind of like I can um, 
make it better, a little more safe, so it's not going to come out. So I put one uh, side of the towel to one arm, and then I put the other side as my other arm. Perfect. So here we have the arms and we have the chest kind of. We'll look like this. Okay, so now we're going to fit in the pillows to make it the belly. Okay, so I'm going to put one and two to make it a little better. And we'll be over with a big belly good for our mouth position. Perfect. What I'm going to do here on the bottom is like, you know, to make it better. If you guys are not working with the one piece, okay? So what I would recommend is now, once you build the top of your Jiu Jitsu dummy, you're going to tie it to the bottom. How are you going to do this? Here I have a one piece, so I, I didn't need to do this. But for you guys, what you can do is like now, you get the pants, you're going to put the bottom of your rash guard and then you're going to tie your rash guard right here. Then you connect both pieces together. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tie these parts here together. So you do need like, to have like a you know, rash guard that you don't wear anymore because this is kind of like, you know, not a good way to treat your rash guard if it's a new one or even like an you know, old shirt would do it okay old shirt might be even better okay so if you don't have a one piece you tie like this so now you tie the top and the bottom okay i'm going to do like a little different since i have uh a one piece so i'm going to tie this together here because then it's a little better for my dummy And now once I have the top, okay, see like I have only one rush guard for now, but I'm going to put the second one to make it my dummy a little better. So now I'm going to put the second rush guard. Mm -hmm. So Perfect. Perfect. So now we have the iron. So a long sleeve rush guard will be better for you to do your dummy here. So now we have top and bottom. So top, okay, with the towel here. So if you put two towels, might be a little better for the arms. Uh, might give like a more arms for you, but this will work. Now I'm going to connect both pieces together. Since I have like a, this one piece, I can connect And I have my one piece here. <laughs> Ta <-da! laughs> Second part now. Now once we have everything done, we're just going to put the gear. Legs in. Boom. On the one. Now 
the top. Ready. 